Hey everybody, it's me, John Ward, and I am back with another Dark Park Film Reviews. And this video is going to be an update on my Arrow video collection. Um, I did one February of last year. They had a uh, Valentine's Day sale. So I just showed off uh, the stuff that I purchased and what I already had. Um, this is going to be an update to that video, but I'm also going to include uh, those videos from last year. Um, and then I got two new ones. Um, also, one reason for doing this video is that it is kind of a companion piece to the last video I did about physical media with Cliff McMillan. Um, he works at Arrow Video, but we focused on uh, the films that he brought out uh, where he's like the Blu-ray producer or DVD producer uh, for Scream Factory. And so I just kind of wanted to make another video that just also showcased off Arrow. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll have Cliff back on uh, next year uh, once more of his uh, films come out that he's produced with Arrow. And then we can show that stuff off, too. So we're going to start off here with uh, this is one that I did show last year. Great movie. Great Blu-ray for it. And it's The Mangler. It's got a ton of special features on it. I'm going to put a link down below to the original video, so I'm not going to go over everything all over again. Uh, but as you can see, it's got a ton of special features here. So, um, and this is the unrated version. So here you have it's inside. And oh, so this is oh, it's a double so Blu ray, DVD, and then it's got one of those. You can use this cover or its original title cover, which was Fall Break. Um, if you watch the film, you notice that the, the song at the beginning they keep saying Fall Break, and that's because its original title was Fall Break, and then they changed it to. Uh, the Mutilator. Get that back in there. And this is, all of these are definitely worth picking up. So now we also have uh, Children of the Corn. This is one of my favorite films and series. I love the Children of the Corn films. I did not like the last one, but... Uh, for the most part, I guess, out of the amount of them that have been released, I've, I've enjoyed almost all of them. So, And as you can see on this one, it's also got a ton of special effects or special effects, uh, uh, special features. And this is rated R. And it's got... Oh, this card in it here. And then, so this is Arrow's art. And then you also get the original art. Now this next one is is a new one that I picked up, and um, it is Flash Gordon. Love this movie, Flash Gordon, nineteen eighty. Um, they've tried like a TV show and stuff to do; it. they just can't do it. They're 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 never going to be able to to replicate this. And this is nineteen eighty, and you know we're in twenty twenty four, and they still have not been able to successfully make a good Flash Gordon movie. This is casted perfectly and it's the score by Queen and, and Howard Blake and, and just the actors in it with Max Van Sydow and Sam J. Jones. And I mean, it's just Timothy Dalton, James Bond is in this too. And this has got all of its special features right here. 
um social features are not rated it says movie itself is pg so this is god this is such a great movie So we got its arrow cover. I also own the previous version that came out. I think it was Universal for its anniversary. It was a DVD, and um, which has its own art, and it also has like an insert in it and stuff. And I am not going to get rid of that one. I'm keeping both of these. This is its original poster. Then it has this, and then on this, it's got another like little insert poster here. Uh, this is also new, but this is uh, this is DVD, and I did not know at the time that Arrow did DVD, but it was on sale, and I have a feeling I thought it was Blu-ray when I bought it, and then I'm like, oh, it's DVD, which is fine. And uh, so this is uh, Lucio Fulci's uh, The Black Cat. But for the price, I definitely wanted to get it. So, and Fulci is always good to have. Blu-ray or DVD. And then here's all of its special features here. They put on a lot of stuff, which is great. Not rated. And it's Arrow's art. And the original art. Make sure that cover gets in there correctly so it doesn't get all bent. Now, the next two um, I have shown, and they're both box sets. Uh, these are awesome box sets to own. I highly recommend them. Uh, the first one is He Came From the Swamp, the William, I think it's Griefy uh, collection. And it looks like it has eight movies on it. So seven films plus a documentary. It's good. So we'll start with, well, we'll look at the back first. So included in this killer set, seven feature films plus full-length documentary. So you get um, Sting of Death, Death Curse of Tartu, The Hooked Generation, The Psychedelic Priest, The Naked Zoo, Mako Jaws of Death, Whiskey Mountain, and the documentary is They Came from the Swamp. And right here it says, uh, plus bonus uh, hours of bonus content to wade through, including brand new introduction to the films and the feature length audio commentaries from director William Griefy. Uh, let's see, new feature at and a host of archival content, including trailers, still galleries, and much, much more. Reversible sleeves featuring newly commissioned artwork for each film by the Twins of Evil. So, <coughs> let's take a look here. Um, let's put these... Let me get them how they're on the back of the box. So this here is, oh, so, yeah, so string, uh, sting of death, uh, basically a, a giant guy who turns into a jellyfish and goes around killing people. And then it says, plus um, death curse of Tartu. So this is a double feature. And it also has a bunch of double, uh, I keep saying double feature. It keeps, it's got a bunch of special features all right here. Um, I don't think really any of these films are rated. So 
So the here is Sting of Death. And I think... Yeah, or you could turn it and use it as the Death Curse of Tartu. And we've already seen this card. Uh, the next one is the Hooked Generation plus the Psychedelic Priest double feature. It's got all of its bonus features here. And it's the same idea. So like this is... Um, the psychedelic priest side, and here's all of its special features. So it's the same thing. So it's two movies per disc. Uh, and then The Naked Zoo. And um, you also get uh, Mako, Jaws of Death, double feature. Special features all right here. I've only seen a couple of his movies. So it'll be interesting to watch these. But it's such a great box set. I, I bought it without even uh, watching all of his films. Uh, then Whiskey Mountain and They Came From the Swamp, double feature. Special features right there. And then, you know, their cover. And then the cover for... Um, Want to say it right? Yeah, they came from the swamp. Okay. Put all these back in the box. It's a good-looking box. Here we go. Just right back in. And then the next one is um, it's a box set called Cold War Creatures four films from Sam Katzman. And this one I'm really happy to own. Um, these I have seen in one form or another. It might have been a uh, Blu-ray or it could have been uh, VHS or DVD or just television on like some late night horror show um, and on here you're getting four movies and uh, so it says special edition contents uh, high definition Blu-ray 1080p presentations of all four films original uncompressed mono audio for all films, optional English subtitles, uh, reversible sleeves featuring original and newly commissioned artwork for first uh, for each film by Matt Griffin. Disc one, you get uh, Creature with the Atomic Brain, which I'm a big fan of. Disc two, uh, you get The Werewolf. Disc three, you get The Zombies of Mora, Mora Tau. And uh, one of my all-time favorites, disc four, is The Giant Claw. I love the giant claw. And it looks like there's audio commentary on each film, mostly by like film critics or like historians. But the special features and stuff are also listed right here. None of it looks like none of these are rated. So let's let's take a look. Those right there. Okay. 
So this is creature with the atom brain. And yeah, it's got its special features right here. And then we got Arrow's art and the original art. Excuse me. Uh, then we get the werewolf. And it's got its special features here. I think I might have mentioned this on the last one, uh, on the last video, that it would have been nice if this art was different from, from this. Maybe put like a picture from the movie. And it's original art, their art. I mean, all I got to do is Google it. To me, this is just kind of lazy. Uh, next one's uh, Zombies of Mora Tau, or Tai. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but I think it's Tau. It's got its special features here. See if I can hear. Check the other ones. See, they do this, right? Here and here are exactly the same thing, but they give you like a synopsis of the movie, the special features, credits, and all that stuff. But then if you flip it over to here, which has the original poster, now they put up, well, I guess it's kind of the same thing. The the poster, but it's a lobby. Well, it's a lobby card, so it's different. This is different than this. So this is the poster, this is the lobby card. But yet it's the same thing. Description of the movie, special features, credits. So. Might have brought this up on the other video. So because I, I think it bothered me. So let's. Do they do the same thing with these? Yeah. So see? Original poster, and then they put up a lobby card. Why couldn't they just do something like that with this? Poster, picture from the movie. So now that my, my buddy Cliff is over there, hopefully this type of stuff will look better. So let's see about this one. Same thing. I'm going to open each of these because I wasn't really paying attention. So poster, same thing. And then poster over here. And then a lobby card. I mean, it's just so much nicer. It just It just shows that somebody cared. But okay. Okay, and then the last one is ugh, the Giant Claw. I love the Giant Claw. I really do. I don't care what people say. I love it. This thing scared the crap out of me as a kid. That turkey vulture just frightened me. Yeah. I mean, at least it's consistent. So, their original artwork, which is the same, and then the original poster, and then a lobby card. Okay, so that's... That's it. That's all of them. So let's just do a uh, 
a quick recap here. So uh, Cold War Creatures, four films from Sam Katzman. Uh, you get, uh, you know, Creature with the Atomic. Uh, I, I might have said Atomic earlier, too. Creature with the Atom Brain, uh, the Werewolf, Zombies of Moratai, and then uh, the Giant Claw. Then um, he came from the Swamp, the film's uh, the William Griefy collection. You're getting uh, Sting of Death, Death Curse of Tartu, uh, The Hooked Generation, The Psychedelic Priest, The Naked Zoo, Mako, Jaws of Death, Whiskey Mountain, and then the documentary They Came from the Swamp. And then, like I said, this is a new one. So The Black Cat, Lucio Fulci. Also new is Flash Gordon 1980, always worth having, including that soundtrack. Uh, the original Children of the Corn. And of course, Mutilator. Mutilator 2 is coming out soon. So I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, Buddy Cooper. Written, produced, and directed by Buddy Cooper. Great poster. Great poster. All right, everybody. That's it. So thank you very much. Not too long of a video. Um, just wanted to show you guys the old stuff and the new stuff. And um, I will be back uh, next week with uh, another video. Okay. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.